Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. The petition to remake Game of Thrones Season 8 is almost at 1 million signatures and with the finale right around the corner, that number is bound to skyrocket. We all know that HBO will never go back and redo the entire season, so the internet have banded together to do it themselves. Those who've been keeping up with the show will know that there's several glaring issues with the way that some of the characters have been handled, so many have took to Reddit to show how things should have been done. Throughout this video I'll be putting together the best fan changes as well as my own to give you the season 8 that fans deserved. This is full spoilers ahead so if you haven't seen up to episode 5 then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video, I hope you enjoy it, now sit back, relax and let's get into my breakdown of how to fix the final season of Game of Thrones. Okay, so two of the biggest points of criticism with Season 8 are the killing of Dragon Rhaegal out of nowhere by Euron and the bells ringing in Episode 5 which sent Danny off the deep end. Both of these moments felt like huge gut punches and were shocking for the wrong reasons with the two feeling very undeserved. Redditor 2 co 29 has come up with a way to combine the two to tell the story differently and in my opinion way better. The user said that Rhaegal instead should die during the Siege of King's Landing, which is the big thing that pushes Danny over the edge and on the path to genocide. This huge loss for her ties the two together beautifully and gives motive to her madness. The Redditor was also kind enough to edit the two scenes together, which I'll now play.
As you can see, it's way better and would have made much more impact than the two completely breakneck turns that we got in the actual show. This would really allow for the vendetta between Cersei and Danny, and it's just personal enough that you can understand why Daenerys ends up going on her rampage. Another big thing that many fans feel that the creators got wrong is Jaime's arc, with the character being reduced to a pretty pussy whipped brother. Reddit user etc edit together some images, which tells his arc far better than the one we got. Etc says that Jamie should have knighted Brienne in episode 2, and that the two should have had sex at this point instead of later in the season. After this, Brienne is killed in the Battle of Winterfell, and naturally Jamie is devastated because this is the only woman since Cersei that he's really cared about. From here, Jamie, with nowhere else to turn, goes running back to his ex, I mean sister, and together the two reunite. Whilst this is better, the Redditor did still think that Jamie and Cersei still should get killed by bricks, which uh, I don't really agree with. I actually think that we should have got something similar to what was portrayed in the leaks. Personally, I think that Jamie should have still went back to Cersei, but had a change of heart, and rang the bells of surrender when he realised that all was lost. This would have showed that he's no longer Cersei's slave, as she would have no doubt have disapproved of this. Jamie's arc is thus complete, and he has finally broken free of his sister's control. Cersei goes back up to the top of the Red Keep, which is when Danny attacks and the castle collapses, killing Jamie in the process. However, this is unbeknownst to Cersei, and later she comes across Jaime seemingly alive and well. Jaime goes to hug her, but at the last moment stabs her and pulls back his face to reveal that it is in fact Arya, and that she has returned to fulfil the prophecy of killing the one with green eyes as the Red Woman promised. This would make so much more sense, and also be a fulfilling end for Arya, who has been after the character since Season 1. Cersei would get the big twist send off instead of the falling rocks that we got, and overall, I just feel like Arya killing her would be a lot better. In addition to this, I kind of wanted to discover in Season 8 that Bran was indeed the Night King all along. Whilst this theory was pretty played out, it only became so popular because it made so much sense. We could have discovered that the Night King was a future version of Bran that upon reaching an age gained the ability to time travel and went back to the children of the forest and was turned into the undead. The Night King has been attempting to kill Bran this entire time so that he could stop himself from going back and living this life of endless pain and misery. That too for me would add a lot more to the character's motives and I would have loved to have seen it. Obviously I know this is all wishful thinking and something that we'll never get, but it would have been amazing to have played out that way. I'd of course love to hear your thoughts on these changes and if you prefer them or still enjoy what we got. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my video of all of the Game of Thrones actors being disappointed at how season 8 turned out which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.